at Andrews. It is like 3 a.m. and his place is terrifying. I woke up and I heard like scratching or something. So now I am in his closet talking to you because best case scenario, this is very comforting and worst case scenario, I am killed brutally, abruptly, and terrifyingly and now I have evidence. Hey, what are you doing in here? I heard noises. Well, can I come in? I guess so. It's your closet. <clears throat> so what kind of noises did you hear? Like a scratching sound. Like a, like a wild animal? Or ghosts. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it sounded... It didn't sound like an animal. It sounded creepy and, and like... I think you just got ghosts no, on the brain. No, I heard something. What did it sound like? <laughs> That's pretty scary. See? Yeah. I think, I think you found something. I know. Can you just <laughs> stay in here? Okay, yes. If it's, if it, if this is... You sleep in the closet? Yeah. Does this thing, like, magically feed to Nathan, do you think? Do you think he just gets automatically, or do we have to upload it to him? I like to think there's a large command center of television somewhere where he's sitting in it, and he's petting a... Like a, an ocelot, it? and he's and he's like switch to camera three, and he's like watching. He doesn't he doesn't have to speak. He Anything. just looks, and they know. And it turns to that. So feed. okay, so answer yes. If someone is here to murder us, he would know, or we have to mm. give him the footage. They mm. don't know how this works. That's a good point. I I mean yeah, and then we come into the moral dilemma of. Does he keep the feed rolling for entertainment value, or does he help us out? We both know the answer to this question. We need to make sure that we're safe. Okay. He would absolutely keep that feed rolling for entertainment value. I don't like Nathan anymore. You don't like Nathan? No. You have to like Nathan. We have a whole season to get through. 